Good morning, guys. We're in Italy this morning. Um, you'll see we're in Lake Garda, Rinzani, Lake Garda. This is the same location I was at yesterday, uh, Malsinsin. This is the same lake. It's just a different view today. I'm showing you all five locations that we're going to. And I hope you guys hear this because I'm trying new things, new ways of doing, you know, doing all this. So, anyways, this is a beautiful location. We're facing south. I think right here we're facing south, south west um, just remember we're facing south the sun comes up in the east so sometimes you'll see it come up on most of these you don't see the sun come up at all it um, we're facing more west and probably east and it goes over us more than it goes in front of us but anyways I found these fantastic shots we're on October 29th and I started finding these shots at 1800 hours which is six o'clock at night I'm going to keep pointing to the, the date so you can see. And so right now we're in this one location. Um, and I'll put the locations on the bottom of the, of the description. But I just want you guys to know this is real. These shots are freaking me out. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. I did. Um, kids are keeping me busy. Anyways, I'm here to love on you guys and, and show you what's coming as a watchman. I'm crying in the wilderness that Jesus is returning. And the day of the Lord, the wrath to come, is coming. And that's what I'm showing you, that it's real and it's all coming. Now, check this out. Nif different location. This is beautiful, guys. Check this out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm hoping I'm doing it justice. <clears throat> last night it took me all day to do that video and it's getting quite a bit of hits but this is same area but more intense than I ever thought it would be and you guys do a sound check I got a couple guys out there uh, give me a sound check heads up if I'm doing good on the music and the speaking I'm trying to bring both elements into the pictures but as you watch this I just I set every camera at October 29th it's uh, 1,800 hours. This is not our moon, guys. This is not our moon. You'll see as we go through this. See how it's shooting out. It looks like our moon, um, but I'm going to show you a shot that's going to be com pretty convincing. This is the same area, different camera. Check it out, check it out. So I'm going to hang with you for a minute here. i got some great music on here, just some really cool Indian music, Native American flute music. Which one day I'm going to play my flute for you guys while I do the clip. Should be exciting. Um, now this moon right here is coming from the south. That was a backward shot of it. Now here it comes out of the south. I love the way it explodes. What's all the pink about? It's 1800 hours right there. 6 o'clock at night. Boom. And I'm going to give you a couple close-ups. Uh, you guys comment. Tell me what you think it is. Some will say the blue planet. I don't know. You know, I'm just not a rocket scientist, and I don't know all the ins and outs of this. I just think this is amazing, this video. And I want to show it to you guys. Now, there's something in the corner here. I think this is the video where I got... Yeah, here we go. Man, that's amazing. Um... Yesterday, Sunday's video, which you'll see a lot of um, shots in it. A lot of shots, a lot of shots of, um, you know, the bug or the shadow dancing in the sky. So check that out. Comment on what you think that red thing is. I think it's Nibiru or Nemesis. One of the two with the tail. And I think that's one of the moons flying by. So guys, 
one of my objectives here is to uh, ask you one question. Have you found Jesus? See, in Jude 23, it says, Some were saved with fear. And a lot of people are starting to see this this morning, Monday morning. They talked about Nibiru in our system. People are out there searching. This is not about who has the greatest clickbait or who has the greatest site or show or how long they could do it. This is about waking people up, folks. Waking people up. And that's what we want to do here. So, surrender your hearts to Jesus. Um, it must be affecting some people. I'm getting angry people. They just won't believe anything. Nibiru, Nemesis, or Jesus. But I'm telling you right now. These are the signs that it talks about in Revelation 12. It talks about in Revelation 8, Revelation 9. And uh, I'm, I'm the prophet in the wilderness crying out to you guys, get saved. Time's running out. Get saved. Okay, so I bring you these beautiful shots. This morning, I asked the Holy Spirit, you got to give me something more radical than yesterday, which I thought was pretty radical. And this is what I pulled up. I just put one video up of these rods in the sky up in the right-hand corner. And then I look at the other cameras and all this is going on. There you go. There's the blue planet. Highlights of the blue planet coming through. That teal green, I believe, is Nibiru. I think Nemesis is all the red stuff we're seeing. I think the white moons are the white moons. I don't have all the names down like some people do, but I call it the Nemesis system. You see, it, it, it ain't about just the system. There are signs. You see a speeding sign, what do you do? You start putting your brake on or slowing down, and it takes a while before you actually get to 45 miles per hour from 55. Well, Jesus gave us Revelation 12. He gave us a sign. Now, it ain't here yet. The male child has not been birthed and caught up to God. That's next. The next great sign in Revelation 12 after the woman has the male child is the great dragon. And that's what I'm showing you guys, the dragon and all that he's doing. Now, I do believe that the governments are putting uh, blue, brain, blue beam holographic stuff in the sky to confuse us, but it's still signs in the skies. I'm here to show you signs in the skies, signs in the sun, signs in the moon. And I want you guys to take this serious. This is not just a cool video that you could share. This is going to come and this is going to happen. In the, in the book of Joshua, there was a war Joshua was involved in. And uh, he prayed and the Lord actually stopped the earth from rotating for 10 hours. The Chinese backed it up in their history to where they had to change the calendar from 360 days to 365 days. The Jewish people were still on the God's calendar, the Hebrew calendar, um, but they eventually added the five days. And it was 10 hours the earth just was grabbed by this nemesis system, held in place, the four winds of the earth stopped, and then he released it after 10 hours. And so the earth kept spinning, but we lost 10 hours. In China, they seen a double sunset. It went down, came back up for a long time, and went back down. This is all history. So we're the next people in line to get to visit this, but we're also in Revelation. The end time prophecies are coming to pass. The peace treaties are being signed or being talked about. Nuclear war is on the horizon. Armageddon's on the horizon. Uh, you know, they're already chipping people in America and Michigan and Holland. Um, I watched some videos sent to me by missionaries where they're chipping in Taiwan uh, in Malaysia or was it the Philippines. They're already chipping them. They've been chipping them for five years with the 666 mark of the beast. I know a lot of you don't want to hear this, but let me tell you something. This is real, guys. It's happening right in front of our face. I had a gentleman just get mad at me today on one of the comments. He said, this is BS. I don't know how he got that word through my filters, but, and I believe the guy was scared. I believe he's never seen nothing like this, and I believe it scared him half to death. So he's got a guy here just, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm saying, get Jesus, and he don't know what to believe. You probably don't believe in Jesus. You probably don't believe in Nemesis, but guess what? It doesn't make it not happening. 
Anyways, check it out, check it out, check it out. It's all good. Um, you guys will see. It's going to come to a place where you guys are just going to see this with your naked eye. And that's going to be it. So I'll talk to you later. I'm signing off right now because the video is over. And we'll see you later. Bye.